Gary Russell. Oh my God, they're saying that he's going to fight Kiko Martinez. No bullshit. No bullshit. They're saying that Gary Russell is going to fight none other than this man, Kiko Martinez, who is good friends and promoted by Sergio Martinez, also an Al Heyman fighter. Remember the Josh Warrington fight, Leo Santa Cruz fight, Scott Quigg fight, Carl Frampton fight. He's all lost to. And Gary Russell coming back for his for his for his fucking. Gary Russell is coming back for his yearly fight. No, he's supposed to be fighting two fights this year, maybe. It's supposed to be it's supposed to be Kiko Martinez and 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 likely Leo Santa Cruz. Right. Right. Gary Russell was crazy as shit, man. What be going on? What do they be thinking? What do they think people are going to say? What do they think the hardcore fans are going to say? Hardcore fans are going to be pissed. A light touch? Because was he injured last year? He wasn't injured, was he? For crying out loud, man. Come on. You know, come on. Fans are going to be pissed. When this shit get announced, they're going to be like, what the fuck? Fans are going to be pissed. You think it's some shit going on in his personal life that they trying to, you know, like keep under wraps and that's why he getting these these touches, these easy light touches. Well, Jojo Diaz, that was his mandatory. Then Oscar Escadone, Patrick Hyland, and then my God, look at this. Since he fought Lomachenko back in 2014, nearly five years ago. You know, but like, why has he had one year off? Was he injured or is it him picking those fights, like picking and choosing who he want to fight? Like, remember, he did that very controversial interview on um, Showtime about two years or so ago when he was talking about money and it kind of got misinterpreted about how he deserves more than what he's getting or whatever. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah. Santa Cruz, too. Santa Cruz, too. But see, Santa Cruz is like Al Heyman, Mexican son. No bullshit. Leo Santa Cruz's son is named after Al Heyman. I forgot the exact, like, nameage. It's like Al Santa Heyman Cruz or something. Don't quote me on that. You know, this Abner Maris rematch, this was way too late. And I really, really do hope they revisit um, Javonta Davis versus Abner Maris, but we don't know the real extent of the damage to Abner Maris's eye, you know, and if they're going to take it easy on him when he does come back to try to build him up again, just to be safe on that eye, which I think I would do if I was his manager, I'd be like, bro, that Javonta Davis, Tank Davis, I mean, that Tank Davis fight, let's not really fuck with that right now. You see what I'm saying? So if you notice, Leo been getting a lot of light touches. Remember, he was fighting on Mayweather undercards as the co-feature against sparring partners. You get that's some Al Heyman love right there. You got some, you got some juice, and plus you can't, man. Leo Santa Cruz too cool. You know, there's nothing you can say bad about Leo Santa Cruz. Everybody's just like, all right, Leo Santa Cruz, you've been fighting some, you know, but you know, we love you, bro. We love you, bro. You know, how can you not like Leo Santa Cruz, especially when you start telling his stories about his dad and stuff? He'd be like, damn, Leo. We do want you to fight some better competition, but you fucking man, bro. You know? You know? But the point I was trying to make is this. Josh Warrington, as you can see, he can fight Oscar Valdez because they're under the same umbrella of people are saying that BT Sport and Frank Warren Queensberry Promotions is going to be like ESP and plus top ranked UK. It's looking like that. You know, so you can say that they're all under the same umbrella. You see what I'm saying? So they can fight. That's if he beats Kid, whoever wins between Kid Galahad. Now, of course, he is a matchroom Sky Sports. He's a matchroom fighter, not Sky Sports, right? Right? Did they send, because of the purse bid situation, did Galahad go over there, you know, as um, matchroom? Like, all right, go ahead. Hope we get that belt. Bring it back over to our side. I don't know. Is he a matchroom fighter still? 
Is he a matchroom fighter? Is Barry Galahad a matchroom fighter? Well, it's Eddie's boy. Yeah, so of course they will want him to win to bring that belt back over to the zone. You know, and then the zone can start throwing money and Eddie Hearn can start talking about, hey, listen, kid Galahad, we've offered Gary Russell a whole bunch of money, more money than he's ever making. And then we offered Leo Santa Cruz. Yeah, pretty much. Same same thing. As yeah, pretty much. Hoping he goes over there and win. And then Eddie can start talking about, how he, hey, listen, we offered Leo Santa Cruz big money to come over to the zone. You know, we offered Oscar. Well, they, you know, believe it or not, ESPN and the zone have a very good relationship. Like with working with each other for the right fights to send fighters back and forth. So far, we haven't seen a top ranked fighter go over to the zone yet. But we've seen and we've heard them talk about many, many times that, you know, they can float back and forth. Shakur Stevenson's fighting Christopher Diaz on um, on um, Crawford Khan. I'm salivating for that. Mm, wet my mouth. Ugh. The nasty way. Ugh. Wet my mouth. I'm salivating. T, have you started training for your exhibition fight? No, I'm, I'm about I'm about one week. I'm fucking with my ankle now. Probably like one week, maybe two. If I if I stay in the crib, off of my ankle being 100, percent probably like 95 percent. Because they said I got to start getting on the bike and shit and getting like the motion, like back. So I'm walking around like cool. It's just that I can't walk around in the house with slippers on or any type of like support or my shit be acting weird, like you know. So I always gotta have like some type of support, like tight on my shit. Anyway, man, yo, let's give it to boxing. Um, what else? That's pretty much the 126 pound division. Who is he fighting again? I forgot when. They've been taking care of him on, like since he's been back. He been, was in that war. They said he was fighting somebody. He's in a rumors to fight somebody, but who? Let's check. <sighs> They're not going to make Frampton versus um, Valdez first. You know how, like, when a fighter first signs a new deal, they want to get him a fight he could win first. Fight, I mean, fans got to get used to that. Oscar Valdez returns. Yeah, we don't know when he's coming back. Did they do the face-offs for this yet? That press conference was nice, man. They just fucked it up. They just fucked it up with the bad sound. That was messed up. They really dropped the ball. Dominic Engel, people have been asking about, um, you know, his fighters leaving. And, you know, they just want to get away from that shit. You know, he's been getting a lot of bad, bad, you know, Bad press with his fighters. The ones Billy Joe was like, fan. I mean, other fighters probably looking like, uh, you know, we might want to go over to the states and we can't use that oxoxyphrine, the nasal spray. I want some of that nasal spray stuff though. I got nasal spray. I didn't check and see if it had oxoxyphrine in it. See, we can use PEDs. It's not PEDs for us, you know. It's just regular shit for me, so I need that extra boost in my upcoming workouts. And I'm gonna get some um, tainted steak from somewhere. I gotta find somewhere where they treat the 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 where they taint the meat with clenbuterol. You know, I heard that like meat is real flavorful. Pause. Um, I'm trying to figure out what I rate Josh Warrington as a fighter. I mean, hell of a pressure fighter. But you know, let's go look at some other fighters in a division that possibly can beat him. Gary Russell Jr. can potentially outbox him, but also can Gary Russell Jr. be roughed up with the relentless pressure? So that's a fight I would very well be interested in, not saying that we would see it because Gary Russell Jr. could very well, if it's true that he goes on to fight Kinko Martinez, right? Beats Kinko Martinez, then he'll go on to fight likely Leo Santa Cruz. Then the winner of that will move up 
and likely fight Javante Tank Davis if Javante Tank Davis is still around. That's what they're doing to remedy Javante Tank Davis's issue of having competition up there without him having to go to um, top rank for a guy like Burchout or, you know, Tevin Farmer over to the zone. So, Josh Warrington, Leo Santa Cruz would obviously be war. He does pretty well against all of these fighters. Like, it's not, I don't see a blowout against any of these fighters, but can he beat them is the question. You know? But, let's see. I guess it's time to move on to what? So I guess we spent enough time on that subject. 